Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Bye. Get a part for his 850. Listen to it rumble. Hopefully you can hear it. Cruising by. Looking good with those 17 inch wheels. Lower. Got a lot of IPD parts on it. I'm about to flash another tune on the Panther. I believe this is tune number five. Alright, I want to start my pool when I get up around 2800 RPMs. I want to hit watt. Unfortunately, I got a little traffic here happening. Alright, there I am at. As soon as this car gets on the back of me, I'm going to hit watt. Here we go. Hopefully he won't come back over. See if we get a knock. We got knocked at about 53. The day in Queen B. Took Queen B to church, however, I left too late to swap out my ECU. So I'm about to go around to my parking area, swap out the ECU with the stock T5R ECU. I pulled out a Panther. I'm also going to see, trying to figure out if that ECU has some kind of tune in it. I'm going to crack it open a little later today. See if there's some kind of hokey tune in there where somebody soldered some chip or something. The boost just not stable. Doesn't seem to be putting out good power. Uh, it does feel aggressive sometimes accelerating, but it's not stable. And my gas mileage hanging out down here around 19.5 is the best I've been able to get with it. On the highway, I get about 25, but man, I. I should probably be getting close to 30 in this car. So I'm going to go disconnect the battery, swap out the ECU, and drive it around until I tune it with the stock ECU. See how it performs and goes. The numbers on the ECU is the same. 261 206120368. 261203628. This is the one came out of Panther. This one came out of Queen B 7.2. I was thinking about storing it in the box, but I'm going to go ahead and write Queen B on the side of it, open it up, not store it in here, and see if I can figure out if something was done to that ECU to make it act like the way it does, or if it's just something going on with the turbo. There it is, folks, the ECU. I probably never put this back in the car. Queen V, I may put it back in there just for dyno purposes. So, let's uh, fire it up with the stock ECU. All of my parameters will be reset. With the gas mileage, stuff like that see all these things on the trip computers blank except for the temperature so let's check the mileage when we get back we're at 788 miles on the trip let me reset the clock if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post you can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.